Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Brothers Brawl, the Subspace Emissary. I'm Pwn Shop 135 Now, and in the last episode, we were on the bridge of the Halberd of uh the battleship Halberd when we took on Duon. And then we jumped to the subspace bomb factory with Pikachu and Samus where they encountered the Ancient Minister and his army of robs. So, let's go back to the Bomb Factory. This time we can play as DK, Diddy Kong, Olimar, or Captain Falcon. We're going to start with my, my boy Captain Falcon. Then Diddy, then Donkey, and Olimar for last. Oof, okay, alright. I didn't know if that was going to work or not. I knew it reflect. I knew that thing reflected projectiles. I didn't know if it counted uh, thrown items. Ah, well, there goes Captain. There goes the good Capitan. Alright, come on down, Rob. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna kill you. There's a difference. Oh, right, because they're metal. Auto scrolling section. I want to take this door. Too bad this invincibility is not going to last. Yeah, it goes away as soon as we cross the door. That's, that's dumb. So I would love to have it, especially against these guys. No, what was that? Oh, bacon. I thought it was a maximum tomato. Oh, 
Alright, now, got a new gimmick. Alright, uh, these three lights on top of the door, we gotta unlock them, or uh, light them up. Gotta do that by smacking these switches. Red one, you're gonna come over here. Oh, not you. Oh, good. Oh, wow, that <laughs> me throwing that gun actually tri tripped the uh thing. up here for this hidden door. Little metal box trophy and stickers. I actually like this song. Alright, um, Okay, now there's going to be Rob's here, which I'm kind of glad I didn't go back because I forgot about that motion sensor bomb. Oh, <laughs> went ahead and kicked me up here. I think this is progress, so... I got to deal with these fire pyramids, not privates. And the walls are closing. Serendipitous. Or, uh, fantastic, sorry. Last place you look. Last place you look, but the first place you don't expect. Oh, bummer. Key. 
crack. Rob! Alright, we're gonna start with Rob himself. Then Donkey Kong. Samus. Captain Falcon. What I like most about um, Subspace Emissary is um, the storytelling with uh, the lack of speech. I do like how they're able to convey the story without characters having to say anything. Also, I do like the uh, the the concept of the concept of these Nintendo characters interacting with each other in a way that makes sense. Other than oh, they're just beating each other up. They're just fighters in this tournament or this league or this you know whatever it's considered. Take all of me. Oh, I'm still alive. We gotta deal with two of them now, I forgot about that. The polite one, so it, uh, this one is so polite, he's not gonna attack until the other one's gone. Ah, uh, <laughs> I tried to be fancy. I tried to give him the literal knockout blow. There we go.
Okay. This time we're gonna go Pikachu, Samus, Captain Falcon, and Diddy Kong. Olimar is permanently out of the rotation. I hate playing as Olimar. Alright. We essentially have a um, auto scroller. A reverse escape of Metroid. I can't see. There we go. All right. Ooh. Oh crap. I'd forgotten about those mines. They suck. As soon as you land, they come after you. It's dirty. No, 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 no. Oh, good. I hit the door. Ooh, that was close. Ooh. Just straight down. Time for a rematch against Meta Ridley. So for this, I'm gonna go Captain Falcon, Diddy, Pikachu, even though we just used him, and Samus. We're gonna need a little bit of long range ploy to deal with uh, Ridley. Alright. So, we've got our standard boss fight, but we're also on a timer. You can see we have a minute 40 something seconds. Nearly two minutes to deal with him. Ridley is a jerk. But as you can see, we. We pretty much got him beat with. Ow! Captain Falcon. And if the good captain can't get it done, whoever's next, oh well, Diddy, you know, everybody that's left is in prime position. Metroid prime position. Now here, he's gonna, well, poop. Yeah, he's gonna drag the blue Falcon down if you don't, um, smack, uh, smack him off the Did so at the cost of Captain Falcon. But, again, we were in prime position to take him out. Alright, Dunzo.
right. Rob has joined our team. All right. I do like how um, everything's coming together. We saw all the teams come together. But with that, and the subspace bomb factory destroyed, that's going to be it for this episode of Subspace Emissary. In the next episode, we'll go into subspace. I don't know why I said that, but yeah. Uh, but as you can see, we're locked out of the bomb factory. Like, for good. So, don't worry, we'll, we'll be able to go back eventually. Anyway, now, on to Fighter of the Day. Count your Famicom for Rob! Alright, Rob's neutral special is Robo Beam. Does 5% damage uncharged, 7% damage charged, and 9% damage for Super Robo Beam. Um, how you know it's ready is the blinking light on Rob's head. The faster it beeps, the more it's charged. Leading to... Oh, if we'll get there. Right now it's at the 7% uh, damage threshold. But it's one of those, if you don't fire it, you know, like, like Wario's Fart, you can uh, get a passive charge on it. Like right now, it's ready for the Super Blast. It's pretty good. Um, it can actually um, ricochet off of the floor or the ceiling. So it, it's a pretty good projectile. His side special is Arm Rotor. That's embarrassing. I say his special, and he just kind of glides over Ganon more. Anyway, uh, does 1% damage on the... Uh, 1 to 2% damage on the loop, with 3 to 4% on the very last hit. Has pretty good... Uh, well, doesn't have any knockback until the very last attack. Um, It's really good for edge guarding. Besides that, you can uh, change his rotation. Only slightly though. Um, you, if you use it on a uh, projectile, it will reflect it back at the user for 1.5 damage. Um, it's it's a pretty good um, spam attack in my opinion. Uh, even better than Pitts, and that's Pitts bread and butter. His down his up special is Robo Burn. Pretty good. Uh, one of the better um, up specials in the game, because you can eight, because you can um, you can stall out your fall, and you know just kind of hover a bit in the air. It's nice for a tactical retreat or to just you know uh, wait out a trap or two. Uh, but it doesn't do any damage, and it's another one of those that you need to leave it alone in order to get the full charge out of it. His down special is Gyro. Does seventeen uh, does seven to eighteen percent damage on a shot, two to five percent damage on an idle, eight percent damage when the Gyro is thrown, nine percent damage when smash and dash thrown, and three to seven percent on a drop. And the best part is, you can charge and uh, use it later. Uh, you can get multiple throws on a um, gyro top if you're just quick enough to catch it. Um, it's it's pretty good. Rob's final smash is Diffusion Beam. Does two percent damage at close range, four percent damage at long range. And does 15% damage with a laser hit. Uh, the damage is in a cone shape. You're able to freely control it. But the range is kind of uh, meh. And it leaves you open for when somebody comes behind you and just ambush you. Pretty good. Uh, Dutton, you pretty much have to dog your opponent with it in order to get a KO. Otherwise you could just rack up damage. 
has no um, knockback whatsoever. Um, Rob is also invincible during the diffusion beam, so that's that's a pretty good stall tech to get to get everybody off your back. Um, Rob's main strategy is charge and forget, then fire and forget, because he is the only. He is the only fighter in the Brawl roster that has four charge attacks. There's his Gyro, his uh, Robo Laser, his Robo Burner, and his Smash attacks. Rob, despite um, how shoddy his mobility is, he's actually pretty solid as a Brawler. He's got plenty of strong attacks and um, multi-head attacks. And in my opinion, one of the better um, spam attacks in the, uh, the arm rotor. Uh, but yeah, just fire, forget, charge, and fire it again.